Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of Billy's Figure Review. Today, it's an in-the-box review. Finally, we return with these. It's Elite 20... 23, Antonio Cesaro. This was a huge must-get for me because I did not get his basic first in the line, so I thought I'd get his first Elite. And this one did not disappoint. Okay, this is what the back of the box says. There's a picture of Cesaro. And I'll uh, go down to the whole story here. So if you want to read this, just pause the video. Because I'm so plugged up. I don't even want to read all of that. Other people in the set are Undertaker, John Cena, Triple H, the Macho Man, and JBL himself. And and they are still advertising that crappy raw rig. Yeah, wait a minute. Uh, no, it's actually the same style, but but with the different logo. Well, as you can tell, Antonio Cesaro comes with the American flag and the United States title. Well, let's unbox this bad boy and review. that I neat ooh ouch now that I uh, neatly took it out for some reason it ripped if I if I was Mattel I'd, I I don't care uh, I don't care if it's actually cloth or plastic heck but why do you make them paper they're so flimsy and I probably bet you the don't tread on me flag that comes with elite series 26 Jack Swagger is also a paper. Well, anyways, this is a pretty cool flag. And it's. And it would be a good f fit with my Bret Hart Canadian flag. With all that said, there, there's not really much to it. It's just a paper American flag on a plastic pole. Okay, the next thing to review is. Let's get. United States title. My first ever Mattel United States title was a not shiny one that came with Daniel Bryan in Elite 12. And uh, you know what? I don't believe there has been another Elite United States belt since Daniel Bryan. But anyways, this is pretty shiny and way better than the Elite 12 Daniel Bryan one. Lots of details, and it does not look like a piece of garbage. This is a pretty cool belt, and I like it more than the, my Elite Twenty, my Elite Twelve one. Now let's finally get the man himself out here. If he, if he lets me. Antonio Cesaro. Well, it's a pretty good solid head scab. I sort of wish the Ash had, they could have, Mattel could actually put the real body hair out there like they did with my George Animal Steel. But I think my George Animal Steel was a limited edition one. Cause because on my big John stud, I think he was also supposed to be having real body hair on there, but I got the 
normal one and not the variant. That's what they're called, variants. The tire's pretty cool. It's white, black, and red. With the AC on there. Another cool thing is these removable things. But why would you want to remove these? They're pretty cool. Well, unless you're a gay RH fan, I guess you would remove these and put elbow pads on there. Just to make him look like Claudio. Like his good old Claudio days. Well, he has red and white socks. And some pretty neat night boot, nice boots. This is the back of Cesaro. Not bad. You know what, to be honest. He sort of, his head scan sort of makes him look like Kurt Angle. And his hair sort of like it too. Wow, you know it's just weird. His head almost, his hair is almost styled like angles. He has a little bit in the middle that angle. Other than that, I think he beats angle anyways. He looks like angle anyways. Now here is the final shot of our of our true American Antonio Cesaro. A real one half of the real Americans, one of the best tag teams in WWE today, and I'm Canadian. A Canadian say is saying this. Anyways, for future editions of Billy's Figure Reviews, like, comment, and subscribe to this channel for more awesome reviews. Because Billy's actually getting more updated figures, and they are elites. Anyways, till next time, this is Billy saying goodbye, and good night.